Today we saw three different body camera angles from police on the scene of the morning of May 23rd that tell the story of what happened that night. To the family and friends of Bernardo Palacio Carbajal, I am sorry. No one should go through what you're experiencing right now and no words can make up for the loss that you have experienced. Mayor Mendenhall and Chief Brown Friday addressed the death of 22-year-old Bernardo Palacios. Officers say about 2 in the morning on May 23rd, they got a call about a man with a gun. Shortly after, they chased Bernardo Palacios with a gun on foot. Bernardo trips and is ordered to drop the gun. Shortly after he gets back up, he's shot multiple times by two officers. Those two officers are now on administrative leave. I urge expediency in this process so that everyone can get the answers that they deserve in a timely manner. For the family of Bernardo Palacios, the loss of their brother has hit hard. Could have gone a whole different route. <sighs> just see, it just makes me angry of how it happened and it could have been done differently. He, he was running, he was running. He was scared. He was scared. And for his brother Freddie's kids, they'll also miss his uncle. And he yells for his name and it's so crazy because he's like, Bernardo's an angel. And like, he's only three. And it, it's really hard. The investigation is now in the hands of the Unified Police Department and several other independent investigations. Most importantly, I trust our officers. I love the women and men of the Salt Lake City Police Department. And I stand behind them. Bernardo's family says they just want justice for the loss of their brother and they want the officers that killed him to pay for what they did. As I said before, this is now in the hands of the Unified Police Department as well as several other independent agencies. Fox 13, Spencer Joseph. Now, Spencer, before we let you go, what was the atmosphere in the room there at police headquarters, both when the video was shown and when Mayor Mendenhall came out to speak? It was definitely tense. When we first saw the video, uh, the captain walked us through and they played those three videos. They didn't take questions and said that that next press conference would take place in about 45 minutes with the chief of police as well as the mayor. Uh, we were possibly told they would take questions then, uh, but when that press conference rolled around, they had two pre-prepared statements. It lasted about maybe uh, two to three minutes uh, for each of them, for both the mayor and the chief of police, and no questions were being able to be asked by the media. Uh, they were pre-prepared statements, but definitely in both of those, it was a tense situation for both officers, the mayor, and everybody in the room.